This is Newton's first law of motion. Objects at rest will remain at rest, and objects that are moving will continue to move at the same speed and in the same direction until an outside force acts on them. That's right. That's the law of inertia. That's why you need to wear your seatbelt when you're riding in a car. Now, I've got a little car here, and I'm going to give it an egg as a passenger. I've got a little string tied on the car to stop it. And away we go. The same thing can happen to a person riding in a car. If the car stops suddenly, the person in the car will continue to go forward at the same speed as the car was going before it stopped. Remember inertia. And remember to put your seatbelt on when you're in the car. This game is called croquet. We move these little wooden balls through wire hoops or wickets, and we keep going until we hit that wooden post over there. An object won't move until a force is applied to it. I'll apply a force to my ball with this mallet. This wire applied a force that stopped my ball. I'll apply another force to get it going again. Newton's ball stopped by itself. I thought you said that when an object is in motion, it will stay in motion until it is acted, up, acted upon by another force. There is a force acting on the ball. You already know how gravity stopped Newton's apple when he threw it in the air. Now the force that stopped Newton's croquet ball is caused by the surfaces of the objects, the grass and the ball rubbing on each other. It's called friction. 